we? We are wives. We are bosses. We are stereotyped. We are friends. We are love. And love is for everyone. Who are we? We are pride wives. Welcome to our room. Coming up on Pride Wives of Dallas. You know, you see her cry. Yeah, it's okay. It's alright. It's so frustrating. Yeah, I know. You know, and I just want her to be happy. I want her to experience being a mom. You know, not not everybody understands like the 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 pressure of it. We really you know? just was, you know, went out of town and kind of chilled out and was having, you know, like a relaxing weekend, no grandkids, you know, just chilling. And we got ready to leave, and I was wondering why she wasn't packing and getting ready to go. <laughs> she had something to tell me. So I finally made it back to Dallas and the first stop that I made was to go see Yava. I get in there and she's not even there. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I don't know if she left for the day, had something to do, or maybe she left because she knew I was coming. But what I do know is that we have a lot to talk about. I come in to work today and my client's telling me that some chick popped up at the shop looking for me. Rule number one, ladies, don't pop up at the shop. I don't play that. Danielle, you need to get the progesterone shot together. Okay, I will right now. Hold I've on. already asked you already. I know, I'm almost done. No, hold you on. don't know, because if you knew, you would already did it. Yeah, shit, hold on, damn. How the hell long am I supposed to hold on? Hello, I'm talking yeah. to you. Okay, hold on, you're fucking frustrating me right now, shit. I don't care. Y tú crees que a mí me importa lo que está diciendo, estúpida. Whatever. So we've always been pretty adventurous. I mean, we do a whole lot of shit. That's right. Um, from four-wheeling in the jungles of Jamaica. Uh, rapids in the river. In Jamaica. We did zip lining in the jungles in Jamaica. Horseback riding in the ocean. We did that. We went to Chichen Itza and visited the temples, the ruins. We went to Aruba. We loved Aruba. 
and then anything that they have to offer. We four wheel everywhere and we, we do a lot of shit. We sure do. So when we had an opportunity to fire rock, well, for us, that was a no brainer. We had to give it a try. So we thought it'd be a good idea to invite some of our friends, and we did. You know, because I do know when I do watch or have watched porn, especially the, the CDs that they have, whenever you look at it, most of the material is coming out of California. Sherman Oaks, as a matter of fact, in the Valley. That's, it's, the Valley is known for the porn industry. That's where they do a lot of their filming. And they can do, like everything, they show all kinds of penetration from anal, vaginal, whatever. Wow. Two ways, three ways, four ways. They oh, have it all. See, that's all out of mind. But that <laughs> all, all comes, leave. all Listen, of those. And, and Tracy, you know, you know, Charles was little. He knew, you know, because he's like, it's, Denise, I'm sorry to have to say this in front of you, but that's like that motherly type respect. So that mm -hmm. right there tell you, no, she, she's not the one. Mm -hmm. If he's already apologetic before he even says it, he, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm definitely not the one you want up there. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> right, you're right. If you got to filter it for me, then, you know, I'm not the one. Do. We're fire walking today. We've never done it. A little exciting and we're a little scared. Um, but we've got our friends hanging with us, so I think it'll be a good a good experience. What do you think, babe? It'd be great, I think. Um, however, before we do that, we also invited the Clarks. Um, they've got a little bit going on in their life. Oh, she's like, I know, you know, so we should play with it. I'm like, oh, okay. She right, she said she she said she be seeing E C and Muffin doing shows. Yeah, yeah, she know them somebody there know them, so I don't I don't know. But uh -huh. anyway, she gonna say, Yeah, um, I like their storyline, but uh something ain't getting up. I'm like, What you doing? She said, uh, about how they can see that baby. And I'm like, How they can see the baby? Yeah, go talk about uh yeah, I heard that that that's what they didn't use no turkey bait, it was dying balls. I'm like, oh, I'm like, no, 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 my nigga, I She said it's a guy. She said it's a guy involved. Life. And so, probably not a good idea for them to fire walk with us today. But we did decide that we would try to meet with them and have a little conversation. I'm going to be talking with Muffin. And I'm going to talk with EC, see what we can do to try to patch things up. Uh, yep, help strengthen their relationship. <laughs> okay, so what's, what's going on? Is it anything like the rumors? Oh, it's a lot of those. Oh yeah, it's a lot of those. Girl, she's making you look stupid out in the. <laughs> and a I lot can't... of people want to know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, and how things happen, and how I feel about it, and it's just a lot. So you know, yeah, true enough. You know, I I was just as shocked as the whole world was. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was just as shocked as the whole, the world, whole world was. The whole world wasn't shocked, girl. Only you. But you see, mean, you know, in the <laughs> beginning, I, I thought that y'all uh, got together to make a baby. You know, y'all was going, you know, come together and she's got a point, you're find, you got a you baby. Know, somebody to be the father and y'all was going to have a baby. It didn't happen like that? No, well, I mean, we have been talking about it for some years that we wanted to have a baby, but um, I guess she just got more anxious than I did oh. and decided to go ahead and do what she needed to do. Who, oh, was, no. who wasn't prepared for it was me. Well, Well, real talk, can you deal with this? Can you deal with your current situation and reality? Your current reality right now, can you live with this? How did you find out? Did she just come so home unnatural. pregnant? Or did she play it off for a few months? Or, I mean... Obviously, yeah. she came home pregnant. <laughs> no, actually, it was our, the day, well, it was the weekend of our anniversary. Uh -huh. Bitch. And um, we really just was, you know, went out of town and kind of chilled out and 
was having, you know, like a relaxing weekend, no grandkids, you know, just chilling. And we got ready to leave, and I was wondering why she wasn't packing and getting ready to go. <laughs> she had something to tell me. Uh -huh. And um, she told me to sit down, and she handed over the sonogram picture. Oh, hell no. Oh. <laughs> you found out with a sonogram picture? I said, what? Oh, I wish no. I wish someone would do that to me, girl. What is this? Fuck that. And then it, it didn't dawn on me until I actually read her name at the top of the paper <laughs> that this was hers oh, yeah. and not girl, another grandbaby laughing. coming. You're laughing like this is funny. Oh, no, I wasn't, funny girl. <laughs> I wasn't laughing then. I wasn't laughing then. I'm say, sorry. I, I cried. I screamed. I threw stuff. As you should. I not once called out her name, but I wanted to. Girl, I would have called her. Was every it a name deceit? Book. Like, do you know the dude, or is it? I don't know him. I've never met him before. You know, what, apparently more they were. They've been friends for years. Oh hell no! Over twenty years, they've been friends. That's gonna end. The thing, I guess, the thing where it came out to be was, is that uh, she said that she felt alone. And that I wasn't paying her any attention at the time. Well, girl, get a dog. What were you doing? Well, you know what? At the time, no lie, we was homeless. And we was, you know, making ends meet the best way we could. And me, I was taking in any booking I could get with shows. Girl, it didn't God, matter man. if it was three days a week, two days a week, besides working. I still had to go and do those shows to make the ends meet. Girl, you're well, she felt your like that I was going to the club all the time and that I was trying to spend more time at the club. But that wasn't where I was coming from. I was coming from supplying for my family. That's really cute. I can see you wearing that, Tracy. Yeah, that's that looks really, really good. I don't know if it would work for the wedding, but wow, what a great outfit. What color are you thinking of wearing? You know, I'm not sure. Um, I was thinking of something light and pastel because it is during the summer. Um, so I'm not sure. I was trying to figure out what goes good with my skin tone. So maybe some nice pastels. Yeah, I definitely do a pastel. Yeah, so you just have to help with the design. You know, that's important for me that you help me with the design. You know I will. Absolutely, and I have to figure out my shoes because I'm not big on that, so. Girl, you don't like shoes. I know, I know, I know I'm funny that way. Speak of funny that way, um, Muffin is on her way over here so that we can talk about what's been going on in her relationship. So don't be surprised if she knocks on the door. Oh, I'd love to see you. Hey. Hey, how are you? We were just talking about you. Long time no see. Long time no see. How have you, how you been? Doing? Hey, how are you, girl? Right. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. What's going on? Um, Michael's just helping me here, going over some wedding ideas and some dresses, etc. Looking at colors, that kind of thing. Yeah. Cool. So, what has been going on with you? Girl, I don't even know where to start. It's been a lot. I don't even... I don't know what is that. Yeah, so I hear, you know your wife met with um, my wife and so they did have a little talk and so um, we just thought it'd be a good idea to touch bases with you as well and see how you're doing. Check About in. what? Yeah, check in and see how you're doing. Hmm. You doing good? Yeah. So I'm not even going to, you know, cut around the uh -huh. corner and do all of that. You know, I'm a straight shooter. And isn't that right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, you are. So as a straight shooter, I, I just, I have to ask because, you know, the rumors are going around. And so, you know, it'd be good to just kind of know from you yourself because I don't want to be a part of the rumor mill. I figure we're close enough to right. where we can just kind of talk about it ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what happened? What happened? Oh, oh shit, what's going on? How you doing? Shit, I'm good. What about yourself? Oh, man. I don't even know where to begin. We just got done doing our fourth embryo transfer. And, you know, we've been trying to have a baby for five years now. Yeah. And it's just all the emotions. It's just crazy because um, it's a struggle. Like, you know, people don't understand, like, the process, the financial part, the emotional part, the stress, you know? It, it weighs on your marriage, on your relationship. Yeah, I can imagine. And I feel like right now, we're just at a point where I don't know what we're going to do. Don't give up, you know? I mean, if she just all of a sudden starts tripping, maybe I'll pregnant. Shit, maybe I should go get a 
pregnancy tests and, and one of those uh, embryo uh, transfers work. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just praying because more than anything, I just want her to be a mom and get that experience. And it's, it's frustrating when, you know, you see her cry. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Right. It's so frustrating. Yeah, I know. You know, and I just want her to be happy. I want her to experience being a mom. You know, not not everybody understands like the 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 pressure of it. You know, and so it just breaks my heart because she's breaking. You know. Yeah, yeah. You got to be that rock, though. You know, and sometimes you gotta be able to mute things out. Otherwise, it'll affect you, and then it'll affect her, and then if there is a baby, it'll affect the baby. So right. you pretty much have the hardest part in the whole thing. Yeah. You know, you got to yeah. take all the beatings and the verbal <laughs> abuse. Yeah, and that's the, true. You that's know, true. And then, you know, cry with her and, and, you know, and be understanding at the same time, and that could be a really hard, you know, hard situation to be in. But... Yeah. You know, just try to stay strong. It's going to be hard, but, you know, you can always call me and my wife will. I appreciate try that. Try to be yeah. there, you know. Thank but you. Just hopefully y'all are pregnant. She's not just tripping. Yeah. And I, then, I pray because, man, the, the emotions that we both are going through, it's like it has to work. I can't see it any other way. Like, it has to work. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, it's probably, um, to her, it's probably just still a dream because of the times it didn't work. So. Yeah. You know, maybe she's not even expecting it to work. So you have to build up that, what if we're pregnant, you right, know, or right, something. Yeah, and and put her in a different mood, and then it'll ultimately put you in a different mood. Right. So uh, I guess uh, I, I, my wife was supposed to be coming. Uh, I don't know where where she at. I, I just, I have to ask because, you know, the rumors are going around. And so, you know, it'd be good to just kind of know from you yourself, because I don't want to be a part of the rumor mill. I figure we're close enough to where right. we can just kind of talk about it ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what happened? What happened? It was just less attention, you know. I felt alone at points, you know, at times, you know. And she would go out on Fridays and stuff, and I just felt like, hey, where my time at? So, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's where it, Letters. Was it yeah. the shows that she was when yeah, she was yeah. performing? Yeah, it was so much of that, and you know, I was just alone at times, you know. So it led to other things, you know. So that's where we at at this point. Um, but it was more of her going out and all that good stuff, and and I would tell her that you know maybe we start doing other things, but she didn't want to do that. So, man. Yeah. Oh, so you were trying mm -hmm. to get her to do other things other than go mm -hmm. out and go to the club and yes. perform. Because you guys were a pretty good duo to me. Mm -hmm. You guys did some things that were pretty amazing when you guys were performing. Yeah. But play that for me. Yeah? Yeah. And did you tell her about that? Mm hmm You did? And so mm -hmm. she wasn't open well, to doing something of, different? Um, well, you know, we need the little money and da 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 But I was more, well, I need your time, too. And... She still did her, so you know. Again, I felt alone. You felt alone. Mm -hmm. Did you tell her that? Uh, after the fact, yes, I did. After the fact. Mm -hmm. After I became pregnant, mm -hmm. then I expressed the reason for that. Yeah. So. so, tell me about that, though. I mean, tell me about that. When you say after you got pregnant. After I got pregnant, I told her I was two months, um, and but I. But what? What happened? Tell me about mm -hmm. that. Well, I asked a friend, if that's more what you want, you know, I asked a friend, um, you know, to help me because I wanted another baby. Help but we you. did talk about having a kid, me and EC, we did talk about it, but it was more of her, um, it was talked about when no more said. Oh, but, you guys had already talked yeah, about wanting talked about to have it. a baby? Yes, and indeed. so it was a discussion yeah, that you had? Were discussion. you guys looking at doing artificial insemination? Yes, we were. Yeah, but you know, it was more of us finding a friend and, you know, whether it was a friend she knew, a friend I knew, or whatever, but I kind of went on my own mm -hmm. and, you know, asked for help with mm -hmm. my friend. Mm -hmm. And I did the the um, the home insemination thing and, and voila. So, home insemination, what do you, what do you, what do you mean by that? Because, I mean, I'm, I'm I mean, it's, that. It's, it's, I had I mean, my kids, like, so I'm not I mean, you know, my first that. one was naturally, you know, but my second one was more... I did my own home thing, you know, I looked it up myself and went into details of what I need to do, you know, to get 
the split the sperm and I did the, the We're all uh, adults here, so you don't know, have to talk like you've got you children. Know, just, You're you know, just for saying. children. We're adults, I know, so you guys, but, I mean, you, so know, you did, I did the artificial the, the, yeah. the judgment-free zone. Right, exactly. Right. Right. I'm not, I literally, I just want, you know, here's the thing. Because, you know, we all run in the same circle. We're all a part of the same community. And so we get, you know, rumors here and rumors there. Right. And, um, you know, me and my wife are not about rumors. And so, again, because, you know, we feel like we're close enough to you that we would prefer to get the story firsthand because right. there are stories. So rather than to listen to what other people are saying, you know, it just made more sense for us to just come to you directly and say, hey, so what happened? If it was more of cheating, though, didn't cheat, I didn't have to. Um, so it was more basically. That's important. Yeah. No, that no, is no important. cheating. No, no cheating. And, does, um, and your wife knows that? Of course. And how we, does she? We explained, I mean, I explained it to her, but you know, she's going to have her own feelings on how she feel about the situation because how I came off to the, about the situation to her and how long I took to, to tell her. So yeah, she had her own, her own feeling about it, you know, and I had my feeling about it. We came together as one and that's where we stand at this point. So. Whatever took place at that time, yes, we did talk about it. Yes, I did wait a long period of time to express why I did what I did. Because it's hard sometimes I feel like she don't listen. So I keep things in. I understand the not enough, listen. So, that's kind of a, um, a marriage thing. I don't think, I think that's yeah. the code of marriage. We, for whatever reason, we don't listen right. to our mates. Rather, I don't listen to mine or mine doesn't listen to me. I understand right. that. So. So did you do, um, was it a, did you do um, artificial, like a turkey baster? A turkey baster. Oh, so you guys did not have actual no, no, intercourse. No, intercourse. On the next episode of Pride Wise of Dallas. Is he in a relationship? No. Oh, he's not? Is he, he doesn't have a girlfriend? He's not married or anything? No. Oh, okay. He did um, have a girlfriend, but she's like uh, incarcerated right now. I was um, diagnosed with bipolar 2 disorder in July of, I want to say, 2013. Um, all the signs were there. And going back to, going back before the diagnosis, there were a lot of traumatic events that happened in my life. And most of them surrounded being in Dallas's LGBT community. <laughs> Come on, Trace. Yes, 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 right. yes. <laughs>